Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Emerson on a gorgeous, gorgeous winter's day at Cedar Spring Farm in Queensland. And people often say to me that organic food is too expensive. One of the ways around that is to start growing our own. And uh, aloe vera is probably the first one to start with because we can grow it on anywhere. We can grow it on our terraces, front yards, in pots, and it's an amazing plant. Science now shows that it's about 15 million years old and it's actually a 14 billion dollar industry it's become so popular. Looks like it started off in Africa about 15 million years ago then about 5 million years ago it spread to the Arabian Peninsula and after that it really started its world, worldwide dissemination following the spice roots where the traders would take it along as a live plant because it was a continual supply of medicine for them. The other good thing about travelling with it is that you can cut the leaves and they last a long time wrapped in their outer leaf and the plant grows sucklings and you can take the sucklings, you can see some sucklings growing down here from the plant, you can actually remove those and they can survive without dirt or soil or water for a long period of time so it was a fantastic plant for the traders to travel with them. Science is just now starting to look at the polysaccharides in aloe vera, there's magic in those polysaccharides that we don't even understand yet. Uh, and the minerals, again, are a great source of minerals for us. Easiest way to get it is to cut off one of the leaves of the aloe vera. And of course there's an outer leaf and an inner gel part. You don't want to eat the outer leaf, it's a purgative. Easiest way to get the inner gel out is to take some of the leaf and then what I do is I just slit it with my knife. And then I use my fingers to peel back the outer leaf which is very easy like that just using my thumb to separate the gel of course you end up with very goopy hands covered in snot but this is one of the most amazing don't have to waste anything when you're doing permaculture farming you can use it on a skin skin block it's great for the skin you peel off my leaves and I said and then you use your knife, you can even use the blunt side of your knife just to scrape the bottom. Then you get a lovely moist piece of aloe vera inner gel, which you can use on your skin. Uh, you can put in smoothies, you can put in a juicer, you can uh, freeze. I don't tend to put in my juicer because it tends to clag up all the juicer, but it works fantastic in smooths. Of course, as we said, don't waste the goop you get left over, one of the most incredible things for the skin. So again, just a way of making organic food really cheap, really affordable, and you don't have to put money into uh, synthetic multivitamin minerals when you've got nature's multivitamin mineral growing at your own place.